Hey boys and girls, it's Mike, your host of Craft Beer Storm. Hope your day's going well. It is Wednesday, so that means we have another beer style for you. Every Wednesday we go down the Great America Beer Festival list. There's over a hundred different styles of beer, and they have subcategories. And uh, last week we touched upon the German style sour ale. We did one category, now we're doing another one. Uh, which is a it's a different type of beer. It's called the Berliner Style Weiss, which is a popular beer. And um, hey, if you didn't uh, get to do it, go on iTunes, give us a rating, give us a review, subscribe. You get these podcasts uh, downloaded uh, every uh, every other day. Hey, we do three a week. We do uh, Mondays, we do Movers and Shakers in the uh, Crap Beer World. We have 360, everybody that touches Crap Beer, we want to interview them. Wednesdays, we do our beer styles, which we're doing today. And then uh, Fridays, we do Crap Brew News, what's happening uh, in the Crap Beer World. The drama, who's suing who, new, new stuff coming out, seltzers, hard seltzers, cannabis infused, all kinds of stuff coming out. Uh, and promoting uh, local breweries, that's what we like to do. But this week and today, we are going to talk about the German style sour ale, uh, Berliner Weiss, Berliner style Weiss. And in this beer, uh, they use uh, Brettanomyces, which is a short uh, version. It's called Brett. A lot of brewers call it Brett. And what it is is a yeast, which gives a, a sour taste in the beer. And you'd say, oh man, something gives you sour. Why you want that in my beer? But it's delicious. You know, if you do it properly, you have to know how to do it properly and use it. And a description, I have a description courtesy of beerandbrewing.com. And here it is. Maybe you've tasted it in a sour ale. Perhaps you've detected it in a unique Trappist ale. Or maybe you noticed it in one of your favorite breweries' newest experiments. If you taste something funky... There's a good chance Britannomyces is showing one of its many faces. And Britannomyces, uh, whose name comes from the Greek word for British fungus, uh, was first studied as a spoilage yeast. And winemakers the world over go to incredible lengths to get rid of it. And until very recently, so did most brewers. Uh, but now pros and uh, home brewers alike are taming this so-called wild yeast. So it could be a, a bad thing in wine, but um, and certain strains of it in beer are not good, you know, like you spoil the beer. But if you do it correctly and, and you know, you know what you're doing, you can make a really good beer, really tasty beer. So the color on this is a strata pale, um, and these are the lightest of all the German wheat beers. Now, Weiss is uh, wheat, right? So if you're like a half a Weiss and... Um, there's wheat in the beer, so it's a, a Berliner style vice beer. Uh, clarity may appear hazy or cloudy from the yeast or a chill haze. A, the perceived malt aroma and flavor, the, the malt sweetness is absent, and perceived hop aroma and flavor is not present. Perceived bitterness is not present to very low, and the body is very low. So this is kind of a low body beer. A thin beer, it's all about the yeast, all about the Britannomyces and the flavors that it uh, creates. There's also another style of it, uh, which we'll do next week, but that's addition of some fruits and other things. Um, but this is kind of a pure beer uh, where the yeast gives off all these uh, kind of characters. So additional notes, um, Britannomyces character may be absent or present at low to medium levels, and at present may be expressed as horsey, goaty, leathery, phenolic, fruity, and or acidic aromas and flavors. So it's a complex uh, kind of uh, a vibe that you get from this beer, you know, both taste and aroma. The unique combination of yeast and lactic acid bacteria fermentation yields a beer that is acidic. Uh, the carbonation is high. And traditionally, some Berliners have or were brewed or served with fruit, spices, or syrups. Uh, some more contemporary versions have been brewed with other ingredients, uh, such as darker malts. And uh, any such versions will take on their corresponding hues and may exhibit flavor and aroma 
attributes typical to such ingredients. So you could use this Britannomyces and uh, you could have darker malts. Usually it's a lighter kind of beer, uh, but you can experiment with it. And ABV on this is a 2.8% to 5.0%, so it's not a, a crazy over-the-top ABV. It's a low ABV. Thinner beer. But like I said, the yeast gives it the flavor. The glass layer, what to, what to serve it in? And uh, you serve it in a goblet or chalice. And this description is courtesy of beeradvocate.com. Uh, majestic pieces of work ranging from delicate and long-stemmed, which is a goblet, to heavy and thick-walled, which is a chalice. The more delicate ones may also have their rims laced with silver or gold, while the heavy boast sculpture-like stems. This is kind of a you know an adornment. <laughs> This is the this is the type of beer. Um, some of the uh, some are designed to maintain a two centimeter head, so they're specifically designed. And this is achieved by scoring the inside bottom of the glass, which creates a CO two nucleation point and a stream of eternal bubbles and a perfect head retention as as a result. So scoring the glass uh, just creates this this central point, and uh, there you go, you have a head. Benefits, um, eye candy, it's a nice looking piece of glassware, and designed to maintain a head and a wide mouth for deep sips. Also, it's open, you know, so you get that aroma, you get that taste, or that taste. You, you really enjoy the beer and, and take it all in. Examples of the stock courtesy of Beer Advocate. Uh, first one, Bretta Weiss. And that's from Firestone Walker Company, and they're in Paso Robles, California. We had uh, David Walker on uh, last year. I mean, he came on the podcast. I, I saw him at the GABF. Great guy. We had a picture together. I got to see him again. I got to go out there. I keep saying this, but I'm going to do it. And the ABV on this Beretta Vice is uh, 4.9%. And notes from the brewery, we have a nice uh, description. Imagine yourself in Berlin's Tier Garden, enjoying this refreshing Berliner Weiss inspired beer on a warm summer's day. Breda Weiss honors the traditional beverage of the great Prussian capital, Berlin. Frederick the Great was trained to brew it, and Napoleon's troops called it the Champagne of the North. Firm, estuary notes of stone and tropical fruit lead to funky, yeasty citrus aromas. This is all from the uh, Britannomyces. Soft cereal and oak flavors are enveloped uh, by a firm acidity and tartness. The finish is dry and crisp, a thoroughly enjoyable beverage. At 4.9% ABV, one could imagine enjoying several bread of ices in the tier garden or anywhere else. <laughs> this Berlin of ice inspired wheat beer was aged in 1,700-gallon French oak horizontal folders for eight months. Wow. That, seemed, that sounds like a nice beer. i got to have some. But that that's what they do. And they, they even aged it in uh, in these oak barrels, these huge oak barrels. These folders are just huge, massive. Like you take a 50-gallon barrel and just multiply it by 10, and they're just massive things that they keep uh, uh, beer in. Really good. They haven't had New Belgium. I saw them. Really good stuff. Another beer, Thumbprint Berliner Weiss from New Glarus Brewing Company in New Glarus, Wisconsin. And the ABV on that is lower. It's 3%, but it's in line. Um, and the notes, Napoleon hailed this tart beer style, the Champagne of the North. A lively and elegant masterpiece, this Berliner Weiss is a kaleidoscope of fresh flavor. So there you go. Britannomyces, you think something's bad, and they turn it into something good. So that's a positive thing. <laughs> and these, when done correctly, these things are great. You know, the Belgians know what they're doing, uh, French. And we got some breweries in the U.S. here doing a great job with uh, this Brett, which is fantastic. That's what I have for you today. That's your Berliner style vice. And, um, you know, I hope you have a great day. Go out and visit your local brewery, you know. Uh, they, they're working hard for you and they're probably using this as well so if they got one on tap try it it's uh it's a pretty cool beer it might be your new favorite beer you never know unless you try it 
Okay, that's what I got for you today. I wish you a great uh, rest of the day. We're going to talk to you on Friday with Craft Brew News. Talk soon. Mm-hmm.